How you doing, bullpen? Hey. Well, hey guys, and welcome to uh, another video. Something a little bit different this week. Uh, not that I've been doing weekly videos for quite some time, um, but I'd just like to go over some stuff that I really love taking with me on a trip. Now, whether it's bike packing or bike touring, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so these are in no particular order. So uh, they're not, uh, I have a favorite one, and but these are just five things that I, that I just like to take. The first one I want to talk about is my pedal saw, Dynamo. It is a brilliant piece of kit. Uh, I'm glad I bought it. It was just over $400 Australian when I bought it back before the price hike. I think that was around 2020. Um, it's never missed a beat. Uh, it has worked in all weather conditions and it charges very, very well. Um, I've seen it pump out 14 watts uh, on, into my um, 20 milliamp battery pack that I take. It's got a LED screen on it uh, that uh, allows you to see what's in and, and what's out. And so uh, it's been brilliant. Uh, a lot of people have complained about the price and the resistance. Uh, but when you weigh up all the other factors uh, in regards to a dynamo hub, uh, the cost of the hub, the cost of getting it built into a wheel, the fact that that's only stuck on one bike, and the fact that a pedal cell outcharges a dynamo hub any day. Sadly though, uh, the company is closing down. So if you do want to get one, get in quick. You're mad if you don't. And uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's sad. It's sad because uh, I'm a real advocate for them here. Uh, I love them. Any chance I get on social media to uh, blurb about them and uh, rave about them, I do. Um, and so anyway, uh, guys, I really wish you all the best for the future. Uh, sad to see this happen. And I'd really like to see you come back and fight hard another day. Uh, it's a great product. Uh, number two is Adventure Hydration's crank tank. Now I bought this um, after my Sydney trip, I think, when I came back when I first found out I had cancer. Uh, I seen these advertised and uh, I had to have one. That's the uh, crank tank four. Um, and mate, when it comes to hydration on a bike, that is a game changer. I tell you, it, they are brilliant bits of kit. Now I've got the Norco sitting behind me at the moment and I've got the Blackburn frame bag in there. I'm planning to go away, hopefully by the weekend, but I've got the uh, Aero Spider Rack. And so I'm starting to think that I don't really need a frame bag. It's a bit overkill. I'm looking, I've got some Cedar Summit uh, 13 litre dry bags that will go onto the spider rack and I'm going to see about loading more into them and uh, yeah using this baby. Now it holds four litres, it has an ample uh, hose on it, it has a squeeze mouthpiece and you can, uh, you, know, you ride suck just like you do a hydration bladder. Now it easily fits on and off the bike uh, via two well grow traffic straps that have a loop situation one around the down tube and the other one around the seat tube uh, great bit of kit buy one and no I'm not sponsored <laughs> uh, I just think they're great and number three is my Garmin inReach Mini. Now I've had this for a couple of years now. I love it. Uh, I'm only just getting into the navigation side of it, uh, but the messaging side of it is just fantastic. Uh, being able to contact Sharon um, at a campsite, <laughs> and anyone that lives in uh, Australia knows that our mobile service <laughs> around the country isn't the best. But anyway, around where I am, I go on a day ride. I have that going. My wife. I have a, a link, my wife has a permanent link. She can track me wherever I am. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? 
And of course, you know, the navigational side of it is pretty good. Like I've had a few issues with Commute a couple of times where the, it, the, the apps crashed on me. And one of them was when I was hiking on the National Trail and I was absolutely lost. I didn't know where I was. I ended up climbing, uh, taking the wrong road and climbing the bloody mountain. Um, this is more accurate. It doesn't have the voice to voice navigation. It's more like a digital map uh, following where you're going. Uh, and I'm going to be getting into that a bit more. The Garmin Explorer and the EarthMate apps seem to be quite good. Um, but when it comes to SOS and messaging, um, this is brilliant. Um, so yeah, great bit of kit, worthwhile if you're doing a lot of remote stuff. Um, and pff, shit's all over an EPIRG, guys, really. Now number four is a bit of an oldie now. Uh, there are newer versions of it out now. And uh, I absolutely love this one. I don't think I'll even go for the newer ones. Um, and that is, of course, the Flextail Mini Pump. Now I bought this on Amazon, it was on special. Um, and I thought it was a bit of a joke, but it ain't no joke. Now I've got two sleeping mats. I've got the Cedar Summit um, insulated ultralight, and I've also got the Cedar Summit uh, extra large comfort plus now anyone who knows the comfort plus it's a dual sided mattress so you pump up the two sides one uh, protects you from the humps and bumps in the ground uh, and the other one gives you your comfort layer and your insulation now and it's a big mat I can pump that mat up both sides at least seven maybe eight times great bit of get kit packs up small and it's just something that makes your day's end just that little bit more uh, at ease. Now last but not least is this, I don't even know the brand of it, I bought it online, uh, Silicon Collapsible, I got it right, do you know how many times it took me? Collapsical, Collapsical. Now it is and that is uh, silicon collapse uh, uh, LED uh, lamp. Now it's got a solar panel in the top, uh, so uh, it's easy to just lay flat and you can hang it off your bike and charge through the day if you want. Uh, it is also USB-C rechargeable. Now I use this only in my tent uh, lamp has three settings and uh, yeah, folds up flat. It's just stuff at flash. But just before I go, I want to say a big thank you to the new subscribers that have come along um, that have helped me uh, jump over the 600 mark. Um, I think we're up to about 610, 611 now, but who's counting? <laughs> so uh, thank you guys. Thank you for uh, joining us here. Welcome. And of course, I can't forget you guys that have been here since the channel's conception. Uh, you know, thank you for your support over the years. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I've got some camping gear to pack.